game in here and if yeah if this isn't the best top 10 you've seen it's honestly understandable because it's my first attempt blah -de blah actually can i even really call this top 10 yeah i screwed i can i'm creative enough so let's get started number 10 Number 10 is random, uh, just because, well, 10th class is technically random class, and... Okay, blah blah blah, medic. You get screwed on a class that you might not want to do. So, that's all. Can't really go into anything else about it, so... Yeah. Number 9! Number 9 is Sniper. And in a couple minutes, you'll honestly see why. For the sake of no lagging, I put this on a bot server. So, first of all, main reason why I don't like Sniper. Spy. You don't have to worry about people moving too much. Because as long as you can get behind them, you're, you got your guaranteed kill. And it's just basics. Where with Sniper, guaranteed kill requires something over time, plus the posing class tending to stay still. True, there are good enough snipers that can easily snapshot, but I'm not one of those. Yes, I am talking to you, snipers. You. <sighs> Anyways. I just... I'm honestly not a good nor a bad sniper. I just honestly have the worst of luck when it comes to a game like TF2. Put me on Borderlands, people's heads will go flying. But any other game, yeah. So, number nine is Sniper, mainly because of my lack of skill. And also, stuff like that happens where you should have hit him in the head and you didn't. And overheal. Yeah, like I said, that's another mechanic that bogs it down for me. Overheal can screw you over. And no matter I no matter what I do in this match at least, it seems I can't 
get a single person to lie dead on the ground. And that was just a bad shot on my bit. There we go, finally, there goes somebody. And it is all. And sometimes it's really, really bad. Okay. And also, tip on this Hitman Heat Maker. You just need a little bit of charge and you can activate focus. But I, I have it here. On to the next class. Number eight. Number eight is the French person, the spy. Les mass, whatever other jokes there are. Now, I couldn't call myself bad or good at the spy. Mainly because I am neither. I'm. Honestly, I'm one of those weird players that. Spy doesn't tend to work well for half the time, and half the other time it does. Like, watch this. See? Works fine for me there. I ditch out there. But also there are multiple times on multiple occasions. And also, these are bots, like I mentioned earlier. So they're not as smart as, let's say, your average player. So, it all depends on your skill level. You like Spy, if you're good at Spy, you don't like Spy, if you're bad at Spy. I honestly would probably be better if I had a better computer, honestly, but for now I'm stuck with my pitiful laptop. And I'm on Soldier's Head, and dang, that is some dumb AI. And let's move on. Number seven. We have up is the heavy. Now, why is heavy number six? And his personality, even though I like it, doesn't get him any higher on this. Anyways, heavy you can play multiple different ways and also be really stupid with, trust me. Holiday punch battles are fun and they aren't. But the main killjoys with me for heavy, minus the fact that you are mowed down by him so easily it's not even funny, is the fact that spies, easy pick, that's what you are, easy pick to spy. And mainly because you're. your bloody minigun can make so much noise <laughs> it makes so much noise that you can't even now and then hear the spy equal and I bet you're saying you're playing pretty good here like I said earlier these guys are bots so it's not really a fair fight Heavy though, your pain cushion snipers kill you. Everyone flipping kills you in this. So, it's a bad trade off. For large amounts of power, you lose a lot of mobility. Well, let's move on to the next class. Number six. Next class is the medic. Now, main reason why I don't like the medic. I can't play combat medic that well. I try. I honestly try. Am I good at it? Heck no. But. The main reason why I don't like this class is because of the fact that you have to rely on your teammates most of the time to stay away and you're a spies and sniper's best friend. So, yeah. You're weak as all heck. Don't we save? Wait, watch. 
these are bots again, so this might not actually work. But as you see, yeah. Not good combat medic, that is for sure. Because I honestly almost died there, and I've seen on YouTube combat medics that can honestly wreck people's junk, if you know what I mean, as a combat medic. And the bot was stupid enough to turn away, giving me the kill. So, with 100% Uber charge, let's move on to the next one. Number 5. Next we have the flaming boy of no skill required, half the time at least, is the pyro. Flamethrowers are awesome, I cannot deny that. Am I guilty of using the sword shot? Yes I am. When it comes to this game, I'm guilty of using a lot of the pyro cheap weapons when I play it. But basically, this is all I have to do. Just run around them in a circle, like in guns, and then... Yeah. True, you can play a bit more skill pyro, but... Who does that, honestly? Mine is me. I don't know who does that half the time, because I don't know any... High roll players of like, run, run, medic run run medic medic you fool. Uh, I don't know any good well not good. I am I am seen a pyro wipe out the team that easy. Well I have with these, but they were really skilled players, but besides that, you don't see skilled players a lot of the time. Because of this. The fog. Every pet peeve of. Because take a look. <laughs> All you need to do is this. And as you just saw, I just wiped out a lot of the team. It's pyro. You just need to run forward like an idiot. It's and I getting killed by them. Just it's like getting killed by somebody that honestly doesn't know what they're doing at the time. Because mid, see you, you're dead at the time. Because this happens. And also, you have to deal with afterburn, which is why I like. The, um... Charge and charge until they nerfed the living crap out of it. It did not need said nerf. And if you don't know what nerf I'm talking about... I am talking about you are no longer mean to have to nerf. It sucks. That was one good thing about playing Devilman. Devilman's arch nemesis was the pyro. Next to any class that could shoot from long range and kill him before it could get to you. That's my main gripe with the pyro. It's the fact that he doesn't require any skill. A lot of things around him that stopped him from what he did or could do were gotten rid of. You are... It's just... So many good things happen to him and it's annoying. Where other classes like Demo Man, Heavy, just got nerfed the living heck and get out. Because right now I'm on an 11 kill streak. For running at people. Running at people. Just. And watch, he's gonna die of afterburn. And he got medic killed now, too. Because Pyro is also one of the fastest classes. All you need to do is run at. 
Wait, see? Dead. 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 Don't know how you can just fly that. Anyways, on to next class. Number four. Next, we have the non stereotypical soldier. Oh boy. You're a soldier player, yada yada. I use the airstrike, yada yada. Why? Bull just. Don't stop. It's. Soldier. So what? I like other classes better. Because the other classes are a bit more well obtained, so to say. It's not that I hate these are classes I personally like all classes. Mine is probably a nine. Anyways, that's it for this bit. So, soldier. Why do I like him so much? It's because of the fact that he honestly was the first class I played, and yeah, no, Engineer was the first class I played, I think, and I like it a lot. I, well, not, nah, I'm getting everything jumped. I like playing Soldier a lot. Shoot people with rockets, they die. My first killstreak weapon was a professional. Um, kill streak direct hit, which all I need to do is get a strange fire on, and I'll be happy. And also, it was back when the glitch still worked, where you could chuck a thing that was supposed to make the kill streak onto a weapon, and you get that kill streak. It's the only one I got out of it, though, suckily. But that was soldier. On to the next class, number three. Now we're gonna be talking about number three, the speedy Bostonian. Yeah, that man. I like Scout, and I don't like Scout. I, after me saying that, I bet you're wondering why is he number three? If I'm still remembering the numbers correctly, it's because. You can get work done as Scout. He his only kryptonite is sentries practically. Besides so that, he can destroy pretty much everything. Heavies, no problem. I've seen a good enough scout that could wipe out a decent group of people and still come back alive. Am I that scout? Heck no. Will I ever be that scout? Probably not. But that's what I'm talking about! The Scout is not a bad class. You just have to learn how to play him, and also you have to have a better computer than mine to play him. He's one of those classes, like probably Sniper and Spy, that if you lag, it's gonna put a damper on how good you are at the class. It's just all depending. How good, how bad, can you aim? That's a scout. Can you aim, seconds. can you shoot, can you kill? And also you have this cheap piece of junk. Criticola. Gets I killed I don't know how many opposing scouts and other enemies because of me having critical before, honestly. It all depends on what you can do as a scout. Can you be the nuisance you need to be, or can you just murder everything in sight? Or can you just be a nuisance dipstick? In uh, what else do I honestly have to be, say about him? Oh yeah, one of the reasons why I dislike him so much and also love him so much, even though I don't have him equipped as my melee weapon, the Sandman stung me from halfway across the map, but just annoys me. But also, I love it when I get that stun because it does a number on what the player can do. 
And also, like I said, you have to know how to aim to be an efficient scout. Do I know how to aim with how much lag I have? Heck no. No. Not in a million years. And nobody's I was just thinking. And they already popped dude. But these scouts can be annoying nuisance. It's a road, bozo. Let a real, some real scout get to get to get to get to work to work. Yeah. And also, like I said earlier, scout one of those classes you play, and you have lag. It's really hard to play them. And scouts don't really have any kryptonite at all. Like I said, minus sentries, which. Yeah. Well, anyways. Number two. I bet you're all wondering. Out of the two classes that are coming up, which are my favorite, as you can tell by the process of elimination, it would be Engineer or the Demo Man. Well, here comes a surprise for number two. Let's do this. Oh wait, yeah, it's not loading it entirely yet. Stupid respawn, respawn faster. <sighs> Come on, don't have all day. Yes, I'm Scotsman is my second class. That I, yeah, second favorite class. I just like him. I. When I had, when this computer played TF2 decently, I was actually not a half bad demo night. Nowadays, I can't play demo night for Jack Squad, mainly because of the lag I get. So, I usually stick with the sticky launcher and stuff. And yes, I'm a sticky spammer. It's the most effective way to kill. I have a strange bot killer, too. Or call it a kill streak. Yeah, but, demo man. Is he a bad class? Heck no. Good demo man knows how to just wreck everything. For instance, if I can time this right. Yeah, this should work. Okay. Dang it. Oh well, screw that up. Just get handy. Anyways, I like playing Demo Man mainly because it was a good class. I can't say anything bad about it. I, like I said with Flag, can't do Jack Squawk with any of these classes half decently. For the sakes, I am playing on a bot server, which means. The connection should be a bit better. It ain't. It's not even close. So, everybody knows the last class. So, let's. And yes, number one is the Tech Savvy Texan Engineer. Namely, I liked Engineer. He helped me through the laggy phase, and he's. One of my best classes. It's you can play combat engineer. You can play an engineer. I played engineer on two sport, and I what sentry do work. I also killed a lot of people with the shotgun. Nope, correct. Get out of the chair, for Anyways, engineer is my favorite class, but also. As an engineer, you're the most targeted class. And if this lag would stop, for pity sakes. And I mean by most targeted spots come after you, everything comes after you. Okay, fuck. Take this. Like, for instance, see that soldier there? Targeting me.
I... You're able to do a lot of damage as the engineer. It's fun to play as... It's... Well, not really right now, because I'm trying to keep my sentry from getting its behind knocked flat. And also, people think because the sentry gun is really powerful. Just, you don't underestimate a good engineer, let's just say that. Because a good engineer will wreck you. I just like playing engineer. You can go offensive, you can go defensive, you can support your team. My most healing is not done as a medic. It's done as a bloody engineer. Because of my dispenser. So, guys, I've been Rambo 23. Uh, Hope you had a good time. This is going to be the only video this week, because of how long it took to make. I'm not even technically done making this by the time I end this section of the recording. It's just, it's good life. Well now, see ya. This has been Rambox 23, Top 10 TF2 Class.